हेलो फ्यूचर टॉपर्स वेलकम टू स्ट्रिक इनिशिएटिव ऑफ सिविल्स डेली टू इंश्योर कंसिस्टेंसी इन योर डे टू डे प्रिपरेशन माय नेम इज संतोष गुप्ता एंड आई एम बैक विद द क्वेश्चंस ऑन द एनवायरनमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी व्हिच आर मोस्ट प्रोबेबल टॉपिक्स एंड क्वेश्चंस कैन कम फ्रॉम दैट एरिया एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट जॉइन द स्ट्रिक इनिशिएटिव येट यू मस्ट गो इनटू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड जॉइन इट एंड आल्सो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू जॉइन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप so moving on to the first question consider the following statement in the context of indian pangolian you should know that pangolian has been in the news because it is called as the most trafficked animal in the world and along with because it has lots of demand in us china and southeast asia for preparing traditional medicine and other things and recently it has been also said that pangolian can be an intermediate between bats uh, to pangolian and to uh, human being in corona virus transmission so that research on that is already going on so let's consider the statement about indian pangolian they are critically endangered uh, that you cannot possibly remember so let's go to a state uh, statement to the indian pangolian is found in india and pakistan only so see here only statement is there so you can uh, if you basically if you are eliminating the two options here that it is not only found in india and pakistan but in the southern tibet region and also in the myanmar bhutan and other country also it will be found so if you eliminate two then you are left with a statement three they are protected under the appendix 1 of the convention on international trade in endangered species so three is definitely true two is not true and one is also not true they are endangered they are not critically endangered so three will be true here and we have actually in india two types of pangolian that in chinese pangolians in northern eastern regions and other than that you have indian pangolian both species are protected as it is one of the wildlife protection act and now pangolian has been being trafficked a lot and lot so that's why government is trying to protect them so moving on to the next question select the correct statement in context to fresh water crocodile so you have to distinguish we have uh, two kinds of uh, crocodile the one that will found in the brackish or salt water another in the fresh waters so india has two species of fresh water crocodile so this is normally true because we have uh, fresh water crocodile and one is mugger crocodile apart from that we have one salt water crocodile also it prefers fast moving water so you cannot possibly know their behavior so let's go to the statement it now it is only found in chambal river sanctuary yes it is true that the lots of fresh water crocodile mugger and and gharial are found in the chambal river tri state sanctuary of madhya pradesh rajasthan and up but it is not only found there they are found in traces in the, uh, all the tributaries and rivers of ganga river valley including uh, including in the bangladesh so three will definitely will not two and if you eliminate two also it prefers basically the slow moving water and that is helpful so uh, only one here will be true so you can see what is the basic difference between alligator and the crocodile so alligators are found in the north america american continent so alligator if you can see you have there is a basic difference in the snout they have like a u shaped snout and in gharial and crocodile they are in, in india you have v shaped and a snout and gharial especially have very long snout and giving a appearance of a ghara that is a, a um, like a um, uh, soil made uh, utensils so it is appears that they have a utensil on their snout so um, uh, that uh, that is basically the difference but both gharial and fresh water uh, that is magar they have the fresh water crocodile and another apart from that we have one salt water crocodile that is found in the sundarban delta region So moving on to the third question with reference to sea cow that is dugong a mammal found in India which is the following statement are correct 
so we you uh, have to understand that dugong uh, it, it it is a herbivore feeding on sea grass so it is a herbivore just like cow only feeds on the sea grasses that in coastal area gujarat in uh, uh, southern indian coast so it, it come during the rainy season and feeding on the grasses under sea sea grasses so first is definitely true these mammals are found only in warm coastal waters of indian ocean so that is not true they are found also not also in the pacific and some at in atlantic ocean so you will not be true and it is listed as endangered in the iocn this so this you possibly may not know so first thing is that you have to eliminate statement two here and if you are uh, eliminate two then you have 50 50 chance one three and one only so if you know that uh, one is definitely true and you have to got to take chance with the one and three and one only but if they are uh, uh, this dugong is vulnerable in nature and that's why it is not injured so one only moving on to the uh, next question identify the correct statement in the context of hulagi one so you know that hulagi one is only ap species found in india northern past uh, northern uh, not eastern part of india and we have only uh, it can be divided into two types also eastern hulagi one western hulagi one so that will come to late they live in uh, can live in high temperature condition so uh, they live basically on the tree also and uh, very unlikely on the ground and they keep moving from one tree to another and now the trees are being cut so it is creating gap between two trees and they cannot move on to for feeding and nesting from one uh, tree to another tree so that is their problem due to railway lines and other agriculture practices shifting cultivation they, uh, they are facing the problem and it is found in the southern part of india that is not we just discussed they are found in the north eastern part of india so 2 and 3 will definitely not true hence your answer is only one so you can see also western hula given they are rest, uh, restricted to between south brahmaputra river and devang river and it is endangered as per iucn and eastern hula given that is more side of arunachal pradesh and assam somewhat and also in south china sea southern china sea and northeastern myanmar outside india and it is vulnerable and in the iucn red list and both are protected under schedule 1 this is the only species we do not have other chimpanzee gorilla uh, and other kinds of apes but only we have only hulog gibbon that is gibbon is one of a my, minor ape that is found in india other than all other primates are only monkey in india so moving on to the last question which of the following is are now extinct in wild in india so there you have to remember in india we have two species that is completely extinct in the wild so extinct in wild and what is this difference between extinct so extinct in wild means there can be an a species in the zoos and in the let's say in captivity so that will not count as a in the wild so it is extinct in the wild so indian cheetah though it is found in iran but it is both ecologically and locally extinct in india and last we were seen in 1947 and due to heavy hunting by the then then maharaja and kings it, it disappeared in indian mainland so it is only found in iran and there is another kind of cheetah that is african cheetah that is found in savanna regions of africa and then we have two pink headed duck that was used to found in the eastern part of india north east so also it is disappeared it is extinct it may be in the ca captivity but it is extinct in the wild then dodo bird dodo bird is not related to india it was never found in india but it is now extinct and they are used to be found near the madagascar and africa then siberian crane siberian crane was a migrant bird coming from the siberia to kyolodem national park and it was last dictated uh, seen in 2002 and afterwards it has avoided coming to india only few species are migrating because of heavy hunting by the recipient population uh, they avoided coming to india in the summer time 
so if you eliminate 3 and 4 you have 1 and 2 as a option so so uh, now government is uh, worried that we do not have the cheetah so the government ha has been trying to negotiate with iran to give us the asiatic cheetah and that we can uh, we can protect it but now as of now iran has refused and now government is trying to get african cheetah that is slightly different from the others uh, in the asiatic variant and it is trying to get from the african country and the sites in the, like central india and rajasthan mp and Uttar Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, one site is Puno Palpur that that has been found suitable for the introduction of African cheetah and Namibia and South Africa are they are trying to give India a, a chance to have our sixth big cat. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching today video. And if you have uh, not joined the Stick Initiative, you must join. And if you are 2021 as parents, uh, you can also join 40 days last minute. The, uh, intensive revision schedule the description for uh, that is given in the description box thank you subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update from civil daily